Yeah, what up guys? Welcome to another awesome video. It's your boy John and today I'll be teaching you how to create this image right here with the Autodesk application. In my previous video, I introduced you to the basics of Autodesk and I even talked about how you can create an animated image with the application. But today, I'll be teaching you how to create a 3D portrait image with Autodesk also. So without wasting time, First of all, you import your image, then move the image to the download. First of all, to make this image look like a 3D image, you should select according to the part you want to draw on. That is, if you are drawing on the shirt, you select the color of the shirt to um, sketch out the part of the shirt. And if you are drawing on the face, select the color of the face individually. So it won't have this dark line over it and it, it, it won't look shyish but to look realistic instead so you see so i will choose the color of the shirts and so that's much better for the shape then reduce i will change the color of the background to red so you can see it much better then reduce the opacity to 57 so, so put your image layer beneath the sketch layer then start your sketch zoom with your two finger and you can also move with it also and you get the idea so let's sketch around this image and sketch gently to gently But still, if you do not know how this tool works, you can check out my previous video where I explained how um, things work on Autodesk basically. So. So for you to make it realistic, you sketch the shadow part and the other part. Just make it realistic. It's not compulsory you do the same thing as mine, but you can make it more um, better for the sake of this tutorial. So now just let me increase the opacity to 100 to see. Please don't forget to always sketch on the layout above your image yeah. or else it won't show anything. So for the face area, I'll choose the face color also. Um, let me reduce the opacity before I choose my color. Okay. I'll choose my face color and give it. So you get the idea, you select according to the area you want to sketch on, then draw it um, individually, make it much better. So that's it. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to speed up the sketch. So this is what happens if you are sketching on the original image layout. It won't show on your sketch. So you need to sketch on the layout above your image. So like this. So don't forget that it's you although you are going to make that mistake several times but um it's very nice for you to always take note of it so increase the opacity yeah. 
So I'll speed up this um, video for the sake of this tutorial and So that's it. Um, let's start the fill, the fill part. So grab your selection tool, click on the magic wand, and yeah. So we'll be making use of this tool a lot. So keep it in mind that majority of this tutorial will be done with the use of this magic wand and lasso tool. Though the lasso two is kind of complicated, but once you are used to it, it's very very fun to use. So. Remove this and this. So select the color and fill. So the face, we should fill the face and so. Because the face has so many lines and so use this. And if you if what you are selecting is not selecting, you can increase the tolerance of the magic ones or reduce it, whichever you like.
when you reduce the so tolerance it makes it to select um smaller parts but when you increase it makes it to select um bigger parts or larger um, area so fill it so that's how we are going to fit the face according to the color of the face so um that's it select an area then fill it according to the color So that's the lasso tool. You can, when you know how to use this tool, it's very very fun to to use. And though it's kind of complex at first, but with time you get used to it. And this might even be one of your favorite tools. On, um, so you should create another layer in case if there is any mistake so you can easily um, delete that layer and start over again so as the major reason I created this layer Just use the <coughs> lasso tool to draw around. Like I said, this tool is really really fun to use if you know how to use it. And even if you don't know how to use it, just keep trying, you will get used to it and it will even be one of your best tools.
so we'll stop here on this tutorial we'll continue for we'll stop from the other episode